friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi guys, welcome back today. I have a very fun Lounge Fly February 2023 release video. We're gonna be going over all of the Lounge Fly releases that are coming out during the month of February of 2023. It's very, very exciting. We've got a lot of them to get through. I will link all of these small shops that they are available in down below, as well as some promo codes. And also there are some lounge fly exclusives and other small shop exclusives. Now I do my best to make a full comprehensive list, but if there are any bags that I missed, please be sure to comment them down below so we can share this information between all of us. And that way we all can find the bags that we want to add to our collection. So guys, why don't we go ahead and get into it? Let's see what lounge flies have released this month. But we are gonna start with a McDonald's collection. So they have an entire McDonald's collection and we're gonna start with the Hamburglar backpack. So here is the Hamburglar mini backpack. It looks like it does have some embroidered elements on the tie and there's also some applique elements with the little mask. And it does look like his hat protrudes out pretty far from the edge of the mini backpack. And then on the back of the bag is an actual little wanted sign, which I think is so, so very cute. There is a little McDonald's hamburger zipper pole. And on the inside is the Hamburglar and lots of little McDonald's hamburgers. I love the nostalgia of this collection. I personally am not a big McDonald's fan, but I appreciate the nostalgia of this collection. Next, we're gonna be moving into the Happy Meal mini backpack. This is a very unique backpack. So it's shaped like the little box that is for Happy Meals at McDonald's. You've got all of the different characters. You've got Ronald McDonald, the Hamburglar, the little, I don't know what the little fuzzy purple things are. I can't remember, they're purple, pink, and yellow things. And then there's Grimace, which is the large purple monster. And this has a really interesting uh, little bag charm on it. That is actually the little chicken nuggets that have their little faces on them. Oh my gosh, I think they are so, so cute. And on the inside are all of the beloved characters for McDonald's Grimace. Guys, what are those little pom-pom characters called? And also, what's the little duck called? Do you guys remember? I don't recall what those are called, but they are very cute. And then next, we're moving on to a really super fun crossbody bag that is also for McDonald's. It is Grimace. And it has Grimace, and he is very fuzzy, so he's got a nice texture to him. And he's holding on to those super adorable little chicken nugs. And those chicken nugs, he has his little hands around them, like his little arms around them. And his hands can unclip and open up so you can see all the facial expressions on the nugs. And on the inside, there is Grimace in an all over print for the lining. It is a very, very cute bag. Now this bag I think is so incredibly unique and so fun and for people who love a good McDonald's french fry, this bag is for you. This is the french fry crossbody bag. It's got little french fries that poke out the top, the McDonald's emblem on the front, and then the interior is just white and yellow uh, stripes, which if I remember correctly, I think that is the inside of the actual carton that you get your fries in. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Believe that that is correct. There is a matching card holder for this bag that happens to also be french fries. I think it is such a cute touch. This would be perfect to place inside of the Happy Meal bag. The next item from the McDonald's collection is the Ronald McDonald cosplay mini backpack. Now this is an actual mini backpack that looks just like his costume. It's yellow with red stripes. And then on the very back of the bag, it has Ronald McDonald with all of his friends. And the interior is really fun. It's almost like a quilt style pattern with different squares with the golden arches and all of the different characters from McDonald's in it as well. One wallet for this collection, and this matches the image that is on the back of the Ronald McDonald costume. And the inside has that same squared pattern as the Ronald McDonald cosplay bag. Next, we have a Loungefly exclusive bag. This means that it's going to be available only on the Loungefly website. And this happens to be 
the sequin Rapunzel mini backpack. So they have a, an entire series of this that are sequins and they are for the princesses. And so they've been coming out with one every month, I believe. Here's Rapunzel. She's got a little bow on the front. The bag is a beautiful violet sequin. It does have applique uh, details with the little corset top. And then the zipper pull is a frying pan. And it says uh, on the back, I light my own way, which I thought was super duper adorable. And then the interior lining is this really pretty all over print that has the lanterns and also the magical flower. So here we have the Princess Tiana sequin bag, which is so pretty. It's featuring the water lilies. Uh, on the actual bow. And then it's got this really beautiful green sequin background. And then the petals of her dress kind of pushing through the forefront of this bag. The zipper pull happens to be a little trumpet. And on the back, it says, love always finds a way. The interior lining for this is dark green featuring lilies and also vines and little stars and sparkles. And then the wallet is a flap wallet. So it does have a little button that connects it. And it has a super cute little water lily as the identification cut out. Next, we're gonna be moving on to Syndrome. So Syndrome is getting his own bag. So in this bag, Syndrome is, is on the front pocket. Now this is a glow in the dark bag. So all of the little lightning bolts that you see are actually going to glow. And then you'll see all of the Incredibles family kind of captured by Syndrome. And they are looking very distraught and very angry. And here is what it looks like with the glow in the dark. It's really cool. And it does have side pockets, which is fabulous. And then on the inside, it says Operation Kronos Phase 3. And it's got that big animatronic, you know, circular spidery thing. There is a matching wallet that goes with this bag. It is a smaller wallet that does have a really cute identification cutout. If you've seen these videos before, I love when there's a good identification cutout. This ID cutout looks like a spaceship, which is really fun. And this also glows in the dark, similar to that mini backpack. Now we're gonna move on to, spoiler alert, my most favorite bag of this entire month. And yes, I am pre-ordering it today. This is the Little Mermaid Max cosplay bag. This is got a fur, a faux fur on it. It also features embroidered elements. What I love about Max is you can never really see his eyes for the most part. So he's always got his little hair covering the front of his face. He looks very happy and very adorable which I am so here for on the back. There is an image of him and Eric dancing as Eric is playing like the little flute, which is super fun. And the interior lining is so adorable. It's Ariel in her pink dress, Eric and Max all dancing to that flute music that Eric is playing. And oh my gosh, I cannot wait to order this bag. It is so, so coming home with me. They also have a matching wallet and it features Eric on the back with the flute. And then the interior is so adorable. So the ID cutout is a little paw print. I just love that little detail. And it's got the same interior lining as the backpack. The next Little Mermaid bag we have is King Triton's gift. Now we have a really fun, super handsome daddy though, Daddy Triton, who is standing there with his trident very proudly as he like shoots a rainbow over Eric and Ariel as they're getting married. And then all of these sisters are swimming in the ocean next to Papa T. We love this bag. I'm so very excited to add this to my collection. And also we have a crossbody bag of, also we have a crossbody bag that is Triton's gift. This features Ariel when she is turned back into a mermaid and King Triton is getting ready to grant her her ultimate wish of becoming a human. And so there's a trident that's actually the hardware that is the clasp of this crossbody bag. 
Such a cute bag. I love how unique and fun this is. And again, very excited to be adding that to my collection. And then to go along with this collection, we have a zip around wallet that features Sebastian holding on to the little cake toppers of Eric and Ariel. I absolutely love this. This is definitely coming home with me today. Now, next we have another installment of the crossbody book convertible bags. I love these bags. I think they are so unique and so fun. They actually do look like a storybook. They're convertible. You can use them as a crossbody. You can use them as a backpack. You can use them as a handbag. We are so here for it. And this month is the Aristocats, which is so fun. So what's cool, the edge of the book actually looks like a spine. And so you could get the collection of these and actually place them on a bookshelf like they are books, which I think is so very clever and fun. It has two compartments with gold hardware. And as you open the book, there is a little story inside that features all of our favorite characters from the Aristocats, which is so very fun. And the interior lining is music like sheet music with all of the Aristocats band as well as the three little kittens kind of just walking their way along the top of the music notes. It's so adorable. And also with this Aristocats book, and they also have a lunchbox bag, which is really interesting. So this lunchbox bag features the Aristocats band, and then it also has Duchess and the three kittens on the front with the Aristocats uh, logo on the front. And then on the side is Duchess and Thomas O'Malley alley and it is just such a cute bag and on the back there is Duchess and Thomas spending a little moment on the roof with the kittens kind of overlooking them and it does have that same interior lining as the other bags in this collection. It also comes with a card holder that goes with that lunchbox and it's shaped like a thermos. I actually got this when I, I got something similar when I was in Disney World with their lunchbox that they had for the country bears, which I thought was super cute, but this one is obviously for the Aristocats. So on one side, you have a little record player with the kittens, and on the other side, you have the Thomas O'Malley and Duchess spending a little moment on the roof, which I think is just so precious. So what a cool little collection. I really do like the lunch boxes that they're making. They are very, very neat. Next, we're gonna be moving on to Star Wars. So we have, uh, we've got a couple of Star Wars items. The first one is the Return of the Jedi Final Frames mini backpack. So this has the final frames of the film. It has kind of a um, exploded, kind of like damaged Death Star as your zipper pull. You've got Ewoks on there. You also have um, R2-D2 talking to an Ewok on the side of the bag. And this bag has Jabba the Hutt on the back. The inside says Return of the Jedi. It's got the logo kind of as an all over print. Here we've got Luke Skywalker holding a lightsaber against like this horizon. And then on the back, we've got when C-3PO meets all the Ewoks, which I think is super duper adorable. And this one has a resistance symbol as the identification cutout, which is super fun. Another Star Wars bag that we're gonna take a look at is the Star Wars Boba Fett. Boba Fett cosplay crossbody bag. It's got the Mandalorian symbol in the center and then it has this really pretty like silver chain for the crossbody portion of the bag on the inside the all over print uh, lining is Boba Fett's helmet so we're moving on to the scene collection this is another collection where they have been doing a one per month uh, specifically for the princesses so here is the Rapunzel scene backpack it features all different types of scenes I really, really love the side pocket on this one. It's got the cutest image of Maximus. I just think Maximus is so great. Also, it has a little Pascal bag charm. One of the best things about these scenes bags is the crossbody and also the backpack have different scenes. Oh, and also the wallet as well. So it's kind of fun that there's a little bit of variety, especially for people who collect Rapunzel specifically. We've got Rapunzel and Phil Flynn on the front where she's first seeing the lanterns. 
We've got a really cute image of Rapunzel hugging Maximus with Pascal, and then Mother Gothel on the other side. The interior lining is really pretty. It's light pink and it has Rapunzel kind of holding her hair in a really cute little pose with the Corona sun. And this collection also comes with a wallet. Flynn and Rapunzel dancing on the front and then Rapunzel holding Pascal on the back. Oh, the 90s nostalgia, whoo! We have got the Lisa Frank Cosmic Alien Ride Glow Mini Backpack. Oh my goodness, if this was not my childhood, I don't know what it is. So we've got the little aliens throwing up their peace signs, riding in a slug bug, enjoying their best life. The zipper pull happens to be Saturn, but Saturn is a smiley face, which we love. It is so colorful. It has a really cool glow in the dark effect. Basically all of the stars on it are glow in the dark, which also reminds me of like my childhood bedroom with the glowing stars. On the back, there's like this Milky Way that happens to be rainbow that features a UFO and it also features Saturn as a smiley face. And this bag is just so cool. The interior is everything Lisa Frank. It is rainbow, it is peace signs, it is, like stars with rainbows coming out of them. It is heart piece signs, it's flowers, it's aliens, you name it. It is an absolute encompassment of all of the wonderful things that is Lisa Frank. I, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. Now that also, they also have a matching wallet and that wallet has a green interior for the card holders and it does also glow like the mini backpack. Now I fell in love with this crossbody bag. I thought this crossbody bag was so fun. It's the yellow rainbow ring Saturn crossbody bag. So it's that planet that looks like a big yellow smiley face and it does have gold hardware and it's got this like really pretty chain uh, crossbody bag, crossbody strap. And then there's the same interior lining as the bag has, as the backpack has. Next, we're gonna move on to Marvel bags. My most favorite character from Marvel is Iron Man, and he's gonna be celebrating his 15th anniversary. This is the 15th anniversary cosplay mini backpack. This is um, Iron Man's suit. It is all in like this really beautiful metallic pleather E material. It has his arc reactor on the front and then on the interior is an all over print of Iron Man's helmet. Now this is also available in a crossbody, which I think that the crossbody will be coming home with me because I think it is so beautiful. And then it also comes with a matching wallet and that wallet features a little identification cutout that is in the shape of Tony's arc reactor, which I thought was a really fun detail. So well done, Loungefly. I love those little details that you do with those ID cutouts. Next, we're gonna move on to Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty has a new bag. So this is Hello Kitty's gingham mini backpack. So everywhere where you would typically see red or like another color, you're going to see gingham, which is really fun. It's also very playful. I think this would be great for spring and it has uh, featured actually fur on Hello Kitty. So Hello Kitty is fuzzy. There's a Hello Kitty zipper pull and on the back, she is enjoying a picnic, which I think is so adorable. Inside the lining is yellow with little bows and little Hello Kitty heads to uh, top off this super adorable bag. Now they also do have a crossbody as well as a wallet. And yes, both of those do feature that fur element. Something that I will um, throw out there is that this is a flap wallet, so it's not a full zip around. So it's going to have a button on the center that will actually clasp it close. And the identification cutout happens to be a little Hello Kitty bow. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this bag. So this is the Disney Princess Triple Pocket Mini Backpack. This bag is so very cute. So it features all of the different princesses. So you've got Mulan and Tiana at the top. 
Then you've got Ariel and also Pua and Moana on the second pocket. And then the third pocket, half of it is Belle and Snow White. And then the bottom half is Cinderella and Jasmine. What I love about this is that they are all in like alternative poses. They're all doing different facial expressions that aren't their typical. And what's really fun is the side of the bag features Rapunzel and then the other side it features Merida. The zipper pull happens to be like the emblem for the Disney princesses. And then we have Pocahontas, Flit, and Aurora on the back of the bag. The interior of the bag is really super cute. It's little squares that feature pictures of each of the different princesses, which is very, very fun. And then also we have a zip around wallet that features all of the different princesses and they are all in alternative poses, holding hands and having a great time. And the little identification cutout on the wallet happens to be a little crown. Next, we're moving on to Care Bears. We have a really fun Care Bear set that is a mini backpack and wallet. This is for Lucky Bear, obviously, for preparation for St. Patrick's Day. We've got Lucky Bear holding on to the front pocket. The front pocket is their belly and it has the little shamrock and it is so, so very cute. On the back of the bag, it's a little embroidery of the actual tail of the Care Bear, which I think is so cute. This is looks so fuzzy and so soft. I love that there are so many fuzzy bags this month. And the interior happens to be Lucky Bear sitting on clouds and standing on clouds and little shamrocks and stars. And the wallet is a zip around wallet and it features just the face of Lucky Bear. And on the back, there's a little heart that's embroidered that is the Care Bear's logo. And then it shares that same interior lining as the mini backpack and this has a little shamrock for the identification cutout. There is also another super fun Care Bears collection. This is the Care Bears Cloud Party Collection. This features all of the Care Bears in their original 1980s animation form and it has really lovely pastel details like the background is a slight blue and the accent is light pink it has gold hardware and then on the back there is a little rainbow heart that features that features one of the care bears it has a heart rainbow zipper pull and then the interior is all a baby pink color with all different images of all of the original care bears doing fun things and little stars hearts and rainbows. Now the crossbody bag that goes along with this collection is so adorable. It is heart shaped and it does have a heart shaped front pocket as well. But what I love about it is it has a pastel rainbow crossbody strap, which we are so here for. It is so stunning. I just love it. And on the back of this bag, it is super cute. One of my most favorite things about the original 1980s animation are the little stars that have little smiley faces. I think they are so very adorable. And on the back of this bag is Funshine Bear just kind of relaxing against a little rainbow. And there's one of those little stars kind of peeking up behind the rainbow. And I just think it is so cute. Has that same interior lining as that backpack. And then the zip around wallet is um, has a heart-shaped applique on the front, and it has a very, very adorable little heart identification cutout with same lining as the other bags. Now we have some Peter Pan bags. Um, this one is from Stitch Shop by Loungefly. This is such a gorgeous bag. This is the Tinkerbell Lantern crossbody bag that is gold and it features Tinkerbell locked in her lantern. And in the on the back it says, do you believe in fairies? And what's really neat about this bag in particular is that it does have a flat back. So although it looks three-dimensional like a lantern when you look at it from the front, it will lay nicely across your body, which is very, very nice. I know that some of the other Stitch Shop bags have gotten some feedback that they weren't the most comfortable, like the Seven Dwarves Mine bag that was the gym that was very, very large um, and had all of the points that kind of went out and it was circular. It was very difficult to apparently wear. So just, I, I don't know personally, but that's what I've heard. The interior lining of this bag is super beautiful. It's like this dark blue and it has all of these like really beautiful little starburst I call them second stars to the right. I have them tattooed on my body. <laughs> and then different poses of Tinkerbell in that. 
Next, we have a limited edition Loungefly exclusive Peter Pan and Tinkerbell cosplay mini backpack with a coin purse. So this is a really fun and unique bag. It has Peter Pan kind of peeking over that front pocket and there his little dagger is in uh, the front of the front pocket. And the little coin purse that is featured that comes along with the bag is actually Tinkerbell inside of the little keyhole. So you're kind of peeking at Tinkerbell and she's looking out at you. Back it's Peter and Tinkerbell flying in the air. The lining of the bag is really fun. It's actually green and it has all the different locations on the map at Neverland. The collection also features a little Tinkerbell flap wallet and this Tinkerbell flap wallet is just Tinkerbell's face and it is so very cute. I love this bag combination. I think it's super adorable and I would love for them to make more little coin purses like that because I think they would be perfect for pin trading inside of the parks. Now next I have the 70th anniversary You Can Fly Peter Pan bag. Now this is a bag that is the You Can Fly scene. It has a pink background obviously for the wallpaper that is inside the Darling Children's bedroom and then it has Peter Pan kind of spanking Tinkerbell. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <Whew>. <laughs> That's a choice. Um, so anyway, there's pixie dust flying everywhere. The pixie dust is golden and beautiful and it's flying all over the darling children. And they are going to be learning how to fly very soon. And the back of the bag actually has little Nana and Michael. Michael's holding Tinkerbell upside down and sprinkling her pixie dust on Nana so Nana can also fly. And then on the inside it has Peter Pan's 70th logo and then also Peter Pan and the darling children on that lining. Now this collection also has a crossbody bag. The crossbody bag features the darling children looking out towards uh, the London skyline and getting ready to fly out that window. Peter is actually a bag charm on this bag, so he is kind of flying and can move from side to side on that crossbody handle, which is really fun. And then we have on the back silhouettes of the darling children, Peter and Tink in gold, which is so pretty. A little crossbody charm on this bag that happens to be Tinkerbell, which is very, very cute. As you open the crossbody, Nana is sitting there patiently waiting for the children to return. It's just a very, very, very cute bag. I love the pink color with it too because you don't often see Peter Pan items that have pink to them. Next, we have the Peter Pan 70th zip around wallet. This features uh, Wendy, John, and Michael flying towards the chandelier and on the back is Tinkerbell looking so grumpy uh, sitting on a little block, like a little um, alphabet block. And then the identification cutout is a little starburst. Now we're gonna move on to Harry Potter bags. They have a golden snitch collection. They have a golden snitch, a mini backpack that features the golden snitch as the front pocket. And there's like a Quidditch match going on in the background. The zipper pull is Harry riding on the broomstick. And the interior lining of this bag happens to be all of the different houses colors um, but they look like quidditch uniform like checkered print which is really fun but this is what really brings this collection together this is amazing this is the golden snitch crossbody bag it's a three-dimensional giant golden snitch and it is beautiful it has golden hardware and it does have the crossbody that connects to both of the wings to kind of wrap around your body which is so fun and then the interior lining is that same checker print as you found in the backpack and also the wallet. Now next we have a new Seven Dwarves backpack. We have the Sleepy Lenticular Mini Backpack. 
So what happens is when you actually move him from side to side, his eyes get heavier or they get a little, uh, they get a little lighter <laughs> depending on how you're holding him. I think it's such a cute touch. I feel that Sleepy is the most relatable dwarf that there is because I am always sleepy. He's got really fuzzy mutton chops and also a fuzzy beard, which we love. The back of the bag features Sleepy sleeping with a raccoon and also with a little bunny which is so adorable and then the interior is an all over print of sleepy in different poses and this also has a matching wallet now the wallet is not lenticular just so you're aware so just keep that in mind and then the interior has that same lining but the identification cutout happens to be a diamond here is a super duper unique lounge fly backpack. This is the S'mores backpack that is an exclusive to modern pinup. And this features so many fun details. So the front pocket looks like a toasted marshmallow as does the ears on the bag. And then it's got chocolate kind of dripping down those ears. And it also features a really neat graham cracker mickey in the center of that bow with a graham cracker outside of the bag it's so fun the interior lining happens to be s'mores that are in the shapes of mickeys i think this would be absolutely perfect for a night at fort wilderness but what a cool and unique bag this month i'm definitely going to be adding a lot to my little mermaid collection i just cannot pass up that max backpack i am obsessed and then also i think that crossbody tony stark bag is going to be coming home with me as well and of course oh my gosh of course daddy triton oh my gosh i can't believe that i didn't put him first how dare i you'll have to let me know down below which bags you're going to be adding to your collection and please let me know this video give it a thumbs up be sure to be subscribed down below and i will see you guys in the next video ttfn bye